What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and it is such a beautiful weather outside. I'm just gonna show you guys. As you can see, there is the sun nice and bright and today we're gonna do something really, really cool. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this amazing Spider-Man effect, you know, like shooting the web, pulling the camera towards you. That's gonna be really awesome. So make sure to subscribe if you're new and smash the like button down below. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So this is the effect. Okay guys, as you can see, it's beautiful weather outside. I'm gonna create the Spider-Man effect just with my hands and put it in the camera closer. So let's go. So as you can see right now, this is such a cool effect and it is really, really simple. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in this video. So obviously I'll catch you guys right after the intro. Okay, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by importing the files that we just made. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and simulate that you are going to shoot the web right here like that, then you wanna hold it for a few seconds, and then you wanna pull your arm back. I wanna hold a few seconds like that so you have time to cut. So what we're gonna do is first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna cut it, and right when I shoot this web, we're gonna make some color correction appear. So I'm gonna go move up, move, move back a few frames, as you can see like that. And then when I'm going to do like that, the effect is gonna appear, so I'm gonna cut it, press S on your keyboard, then go video effects tab, you wanna to go to color corrector, and you want to pick a nice, for example, like blue midtones, like that, it's gonna spice up the clip just a little, like I've also done in the intro, as you can see. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and insert the spider web. So we're gonna to go to the website where we can find this web for free to use, which is obviously Production Crate. And I just wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored by Production Crate at all, because I just want to use their website for the most amazing effects, as you can see right here, like for example, 4K Storm Cloud, and everything and so on and obviously they have also the spider-man web so we're gonna type in a search bar spider-man and as you can see we have all kinds of as you can see webs that you can even shoot from your hands from the left for example right here and we're gonna obviously use this one so we're gonna make that overlay on the screen so we're gonna click on here then we're going to click on download and then we're gonna drag that guy into our project and I will obviously leave the uh, link this website to the spider-man webs in the description down below right guys so now that we dragged in the spot the web this is basically what it looks like as you can see very fast but we need to remove the black background so we're gonna go ahead and right click on it click on properties you want to go to media and then what you want to do is very simple you want to go to alpha channel at the bottom right here and you want to put that one to straight and mat it click on ok as you can see it is still black but if you create a new video track and if you're going to overlay this on it this is basically what it looks like but it's way too small, so we're gonna make this guy bigger. Go to track motion icon of the Spider-Man track or, or the web track, and you wanna make that guy a lot bigger. A little bit bigger, like so, that it's covered in the entire screen like that. So this is what we have so far. And then we need to go ahead and cut it where we will actually pull it back. So we're gonna stretch this guy until I, you know, pull it back. As you can see, it cuts nice when I'm pulling it that back my hand. A little bit further and then what we're gonna do is we're going to simulate that we will pull the camera towards us like here as you can see like that so nobody will notice so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there and then this is what it looks like so far as you can see like that that looks very very nice but what we need to do is we need to stretch this guy just a little bit more and then we're gonna cut it right here and then we're gonna make this guy zoom out so go to the event pan crop icon of that little clip and then we're gonna basically Go to the very end of the clip right here and then we're gonna place our marker at the end and then we're gonna zoom all the way out. The marker is at the very end. Then we're gonna zoom out this guy as much as we possibly can so it will actually look like the web is disappearing. So we're gonna make that as small as it possibly can be like that and this is what it looks like. But we can also speed up this part a little bit. We're gonna do that as well and this is basically what it looks like. 
so that looks really really great but what we need to do is we're gonna also make this screen tilt just a little so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the event pan crop and we're going to zoom in just a little bit because also when you're gonna film this clip you also need to make sure that we'll have a little bit more space above our head so we can actually zoom in the screen so we can actually tilt it just a little so we're gonna do it like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our timeline for example right here and then we're going to create a few keyframes and we're gonna just you know zoom in just a little and then we're gonna also just tilt the screen for then we're gonna create a new keyframe and then we're gonna tilt this guy the other side and we're gonna make sure that we'll just make our screen lo look a little bit more shake and then at the end we're gonna also do another keyframe and we're gonna twist it or you like turn it uh, one more time okay so now that we've done that this is what the clip looks like as you can see, the screen is like nice and slowly tilting. And then we're going to also do that for the web, but not that extreme. We're going to go to the event pan crop, obviously, of the web. And then we're going to just tilt this guy. And we're going to not use like three to four or five keyframes, but only we're going to use like two or three. So we're going to just place this guy here. And then we're going to also just tilt it again, like so. And then we're going to also place a last keyframe right here. So two keyframes for this web is enough. Tilt it a little and then it will look very realistic. So let's go ahead and play it back. So that looks really, really cool. But to make it even more realistic, we're going to download and use the sound effect of the web shooting. So we're going to just go to YouTube, find the spider web sound effect when he shoots it, download it to your computer, and then we're going to drag it into our pro. Okay, this is the sound effect. Okay, this is the sound effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and time it right here. I'm also lower the volume just a little bit like that. So let's time it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and time it. But it's a really, really cool trick because if you're gonna play this, it will look like it's shooting, but it's now disappearing right here, as you can see like that. So what we need to do is we're just gonna right click on the audio clip and we're gonna click on a reverse. So this is the end result. So guys, this is how to create the amazing spider up effect in Vegas Pro 15. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously next week. And also make sure to smash the like button down below if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you're new. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Alex Helfer for more personal, you know, on the side of things, just to, you know, give you guys a little bit more insight about what I'm doing like outside of YouTube. So make sure to follow me there. And I'll catch you guys obviously next week.